Alright so, this week in Ireland has just been absolutely dead. Alright, what's the crack? Welcome back if you're new here. My name is Adam Revan and I'd really, really appreciate if you could hit that subscribe button. Also do me a favour and slap a like in the video because that lets me know that you're actually enjoying the videos. Also feel free to leave a comment down below because I'm more than happy to have a conversation with every single person that wants one. Also for anyone that's interested, I've just set up a Patreon. So two weeks ago I put a poll up on the channel and 74% of you that are actually watching this video told me I might as well set it up because there's no harm in doing it. So if you search patreon.com forward slash Adam Revan, I click the top link in the description. You can go over there and choose to support me. Now, I just set it up. If people choose to support me, fantastic. If people don't, no hard feelings. You watching this is just more than enough. Basically, I've just posted a video on it which explains my reasons of why I'm actually setting it up. So, anyways, let's get into the video. Apologies for the long intro, but it's a short video, and anyway, so I thought I'd have a little babble at the start. Celebrity fitness coach Carl Henry calls for fit kids to get extra points in the leave and sit in bed to promote healthier lifestyles. So, that means all you fatty kids have to study extra hard to make up for the points that all the skinny kids are going to be handed because they're skinny. I'm only putting this in here because it's actually leaving certain junior seat week and a lot of kids are probably stressing about the exams. If you're sitting at junior seat this week, don't worry about it. It's not going to be important two weeks from now. If you're sitting at leaving seat, it's not important unless you are going to do a career that you need college for. I think that's my car alarm. Never mind, it wasn't my car that someone was robbing. Also, remember this, whatever you know now, you know, and whatever you don't know, you're not gonna know. So don't move yourself and stress about last minute cramming because you're only gonna burn yourself out. But anyways, back to the story. So anyways, this chap here basically wants to have PE as a leaving state subject so that people have an incentive to be fit during school. I completely agree with the idea behind it because there's a hell of a lot more overweight kids these days than there were like 20 or 15 years ago. Well, then again, not that I know because I wasn't around back then. Well, I actually was, but it was only a little nipper so I wouldn't have noticed many fat kids walking around the place. Dublin dads warning a son targeted on PlayStation Network and offered porn photos. Porn and PlayStation? What more could you want? Irish youngsters are being targeted by creeps on the PlayStation Network offering them nude photographs and porn a concerned parent has revealed. Daryl Bourne from Dublin claims his 10 year old son had received messages from strangers offering to send him naked photographs while playing games online. I haven't seen any of the messages but this photograph was coupled with the article. Basically this account PS Girl 3 46057 sent a friend request to the kid and basically the boy on the account said this Hi, I'm looking for a man. Check my naked pics on my profile on this dating website. You can find me by nickname Julia0077 for any of you pedos that actually want to have a look. And that was it. It didn't show any messages. It just showed someone getting a friend request and the boy of the person sending the friend request had that information in it. Is it that big of a deal? I don't really know. If a 10 year old clicks a picture and sees a set of titties, is it a big deal? Probably not. Fair play to the outlet anyways, I know for a fact there's a lot of parents out there that wouldn't even think of checking their child's PlayStation messages. So there you go, fair play to the father keeping his son out of reach of dirty predatory pedos. Former postman reveals how Gardy looking for IRA during the troubles found him with 40,000 illegal condoms. What a horny bastard. He said, I became quite adept at getting across the border and I remember on one occasion got through no problem and stopped at a guard checkpoint in Balbriggan. They were looking for the IRA when they checked my car I had 40,000 condoms and I insisted they were for my own private use. Insisted they were for private use? You wouldn't even get a quarter of the way through them condoms before your Mickey just completely fell off. Anyways, after being told that, the guard sent for the sergeant and they looked at one another and said, have a nice weekend. By the looks of it, just some mutual respect by three horny elfless. Burmese Python found abandoned in Wicklow Mountains National Park as OSPCA appeal for information. The five foot long snake who was being named Sammy was rescued by a worker at the park after being alerted by a local farmer. Probably when the thing was trying to eat the farmer's fucking sheep. Look at the size of that snake. That is the wrong one. Look at the size of that snake. Can you imagine being out walking in the local mountains with a dog and bumping into this big bastard of a thing? Sammy was found to be underweight, dehydrated and injured. She has been placed in the care of a reptile specialist. ISPCA Chief Inspector Connor Dowland said in addition to the potentially illegal release of non-native species, there are numerous possible offences under the Animal Health and Welfare Act 2013. <laughs> That was a mouthful. This snake did not make its own way up the Wicklow Mountains and we believe that it was abandoned and left in an environment not sealed to an animal of this type. For any of you that are watching, snakes are not just for Christmas and obviously someone dumped that up in the Wicklow Mountains because they could no longer care for it. We suspect that it had been abandoned some days prior to her discovery but we also have reason to be concerned about the care that it was receiving prior to its release. Whoever done this, you have an absolute snake just dumping that snake in the mountains. Why don't you just go and give it to someone or at least leave it on the doorstep of a pet shop or something and let them deal with it. What I would say is that 
somebody actually bought a snake when I was only a little baby snake and I was probably like, yay big. And then when I went, grew up to five foot and they were like, fuck this, I can't handle this anymore. The snake is described as hanging in there, but it's still very uncertain as to whether she will pull through. Apparently they're unsure whether or not the snake is gonna survive because animals like that suffer long and slow and lingering deaths. Now that's gonna be it from today and I know it's a very short video, so my apologies, but there's still stuff in the news that I obviously can't and shouldn't talk about for obvious reasons. Let's hope next week we have some more weird and wonderful stories that I can actually talk about and are suitable for the YouTubes. Uh, do me a favour, slap a like in the video, even if you didn't like this one, slap a dislike in the video because that even helps me out in terms of engagement. If there's anything you think I missed this week, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll probably include it next week as long as it's not some sort of death and touchy subject that I don't want to go near. Also big thanks to everybody in advance, we're nearly at 13,000 subscribers which I am buzzing about. A big thanks to every single one of you and I really mean that, feel free to drop a comment even if you never comment below, comment down below so I can see your name and I can recognise you and I can say hello and give you a little thanks. Also if you want to go that extra bit, do me a favour, go to the Patreon, you don't even have to sign up to just go over, I'm going to post a video on that explaining why I set it up as I said. Top link in the description at www.patreon.com forward slash Adam Redmond and maybe it's backslash I don't really understand how links work. So that's going to be it from today, feel free to follow me on Instagram so they will keep an eye on that every single weekend which is kind of unofficial and I just do it out of boredom. So thanks for watching, see you later, goodbye.